Have you ever started a watercolour class and found it begins with loads of boring drills and practice exercises and it takes forever to get into the fun of creating an actual painting? Well, in the next two minutes, I want to tell you about an alternative approach, one that lets you jump into the fun of painting and learn by doing without having to start with a bunch of preliminary boring drills and practice exercises. And maybe more importantly, I want to share a very good reason why avoiding these preparatory drills might actually get you painting faster. By the way, if you are just getting started with watercolour and have questions about what supplies you need, I have a free guide for you. Just click the link somewhere around this video and you'll be able to get a free two page document that lists out just the essentials plus a free bonus video class that answers all the questions you might have about watercolour supplies. So now, do those watercolour drills and practice exercises have zero value? Of course not. They do build skills like brush control and paint consistency, but they come with risks that outweigh the benefits to my mind. Perhaps there are some people that enjoy painting endless rows of lines uh, it can be meditative um, and the purpose is just to learn brush control. But if you're anything like me, that can be so dead boring that it can end up putting you off painting. If you start out requiring of yourself the ability to make a row of perfectly controlled marks before you give yourself permission to begin a real painting, you're really feeding that inner perfectionist and she can be a hungry monster. This approach develops an expectation that there's a right way to paint and that can leave you worrying that you're getting it wrong and you can't be a proper painter until you get it right. But painting should be about fun. There is no right or wrong. Also, and maybe more importantly, I think this sort of thing can get you stuck in preparatory mode where you feel increasingly fearful of starting an actual painting. Time spent on practice is time for that inner critic to start arcing up about what an imposter you are and how you've left it too late to learn and have too much to learn and will never be good at painting. None of those things are true, by the way. So let's not give that, any, that inner critic any airtime and let's just get on with painting. Let's not get stuck in this preparatory phase waiting for the fun to start. It is possible to build your watercolour skills while you enjoy creating actual finished painting. Now I've got a range of online watercolour classes available and I'd obviously love to help you along in your watercolour journey. But whether you choose to paint with me or not, I hope this little video message helps you give yourself permission to move out of preparatory mode, consider yourself an artist regardless of your perceived skills and experience, and get on with the fun of creating a real painting right now.